video of mine today is going to be my February favorites. If you didn't know, if you didn't watch my last one, you would know that this is a new series that I'm doing on my channel. It's just something that I wanted to do. I wanted to start sharing my favorites with you and it is officially the end of February. Um, I just turned 30 two days ago. I'm actually filming on leap day, the 29th, which is so crazy. It's just weird to think that there's February 29th every four years. It's just wild to me. It's four, right babe? What? Leap year. Yeah, four. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking seven. Am I thinking of bankruptcy right now? I don't know. But yeah, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. I put out videos three times a week. Um, I do kind of lifestyle. I do hauls. If you, I, cleaning. I do everything, guys. I'm just a jack of all trades. So if you're interested in anything um, like that, then just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But anyways, I'm going to stop this intro. It's getting a little too long. I'm just kind of blabbing. And let's just get into my favorites of February. So I do have a couple of um, makeup related items. It's not really, I don't know. I'm suit. I'm kind of in a makeup, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of died down a lot. Um, as the older I've gotten, I just kind of stick with what I know. But I do have some items that I just kind of fell in love with fell in love with and then like just rediscovered in my collection and the first one that I have to share with you is the NARS Madly Blush and this is absolutely gorgeous in the pan it does not look at all like it's anything special um but I actually have it on my oh no I don't have it on my cheeks today I feel like everybody does that but yeah this it comes off stunning it's such a beautiful like mauve -y, pinky color it looks like nothing in the pan but i promise you it is absolutely gorgeous so if you're looking for something that you can pretty much use all year round this is definitely the blush for you again that's nars madly the next makeup item that i'm going to share with you is the l'oreal voluminous um mascara primer i did a i think get ready with me like two months ago and I think I started this I start I used it I'm not I honestly can't remember but basically I tried it and I just wasn't 100% 100% sold on it um, I because I have really like naturally decent eyelashes I usually don't have an issue um, but I was like I see a lot of people use mascara primers and their lashes look even better so I'm like I guess I'll give it a try like what's what's the harm so I used it I didn't really think that I saw a difference but then one morning I accidentally forgot the primer and I'm like why do my lashes look so ugh? and I realized because I didn't use the primer so I am actually really surprised with this I again wasn't too sure about this at first but I love this um, I know that there are higher ends, but honestly, for me personally, when it comes to mascara, that's one of the makeup items that I just won't spend the money on higher end brands because I think that the drugstore does a really, really good job. And um, I'm really happy with the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Base Mascara Primer. So if you're looking for one that's super affordable, I think it's around $8, this is the one for you. And I'm just going to get done with all the makeup items that I have. This is a blending brush, and it's extremely dirty because I used the heck out of it. This is the Jaclyn Hill. It's the JH32 blending brush. And I love this brush, not because it really blends out my mess or my eyeshadow. I mean, it does because I, I use it every day, and I tend to use, like, the same colors. That's why I haven't washed it in a week. But I have a Sigma. Which one is it? Let me see. Are you so I have this Sigma e40 brush I got this seven years ago and I loved it back then but I noticed when I use this the bristles stab my eye they've gotten really coarse over the years and that just be could be because of wear and tear but they hurt my eyes so that's why I'm not a huge fan of this and that's why I've been sticking with this Morphe Jacqueline Hill brush it is so soft on my eyes. It does not hurt no matter how hard I am blending. I love this. It does the job. It's such a good brush. Um, I got it in the Jaclyn Hill set, but I'm pretty sure that um, Morphe has like the blending brush itself. I mean, they have to. But yes, if you're looking for a good blending brush that the bristles don't stab you in your eyelids, this is the one for you. It's really good. I promise you. Okay, now we're going to get into like all my miscellaneous things. 
Um, the first one I'm going to actually share is these. These are so good. I just have the box um, because I eat them every single day and I'm all out. This is my second box this month and it is these Protein One Bars. Um, they're the makers of Fiber One, but these things are so so good they tied me over so if you don't know I wake up at 4 30 in the morning to go to work I work at I work from like 6 to 3 so when I wake up I have my cup of coffee that pretty much tides me over until like 9 o'clock um and that's kind of a long time but around 9 o'clock 9 30 I get so hungry I have one of these and the best part is it's only 90 calories the bars are very very small but for the size of the bars they actually tied me over a couple more hours probably like two to three hours these are so good they don't taste like protein bars because we all know that some pro protein bars taste like powder it's just nasty these things are so so good I 100% recommend um, it has 10 grams of protein one gram of sugar which is amazing and it's like I said it's only 90 calories so if you're looking for like a caloric, if you're looking for like low calorie because you're trying to do like a caloric deficit this is it for you. I love these things so, so much. The next things I want to share with you. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I got them from Marshalls. After this video, if you love them, you need to go run and get them. You're going to love them. And they are these like slip-on sneakers or Steve Bannon, and they've been worn, guys. I got them in like the end of January, early February, and they are disgusting because, you know, the streets in Vegas are nasty. These things are so comfortable. They are so cute. They're just slip-on. They almost look like espadrille sneakers because they do have, like, that twine. These things are so, so, so cute. They were $35 at Marshalls. Um, I'm pretty sure that they have them at TJ Maxx, too. I'm pretty sure I've seen them. Um, but if you don't see them at Marshalls, Target has similar ones. They just have... Um, like espadrille sneakers just like this but they have they have laces and they're also $34.99 as well these things are absolutely so cute they go with basically any outfit and they're just so comfortable guys these are 100% my favorite 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 sneakers that I have right now I love them so much so if you love them just as much as I do go run to your Marshalls TJ Maxx go find them if you can't find them there like I said Target has a similar pair because I think Target for the most part has a lot of um, dupes for Steve Madden because Steve Madden I love Steve Madden that's a really good brand that I love um, they have a lot of dupes and they do so 100% recommend these are so cute especially for the spring and summertime so go get you a pair I promise you you will not regret it okay the next thing I want to share with you I don't actually have it because it's downstairs in my garage and I don't feel like bringing it up because I just feel like I'd pull a Kevin from the office and just spill it everywhere like the chili cook-off day and I'm not about to do that and it is the Annie Sloan chalk paint if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I repurposed a bench. I love this stuff. Um, I actually repainted a um, like a shelf that is in my kitchen. I'm trying to do a display with it, but it's just not really working out in my favor. But this the chalk paint is amazing. Um, I did get the Annie Sloan brush to go with it. It's kind of expensive, but I think that it's 100% worth it if you're like looking to refurbish um, old furniture or just paint some small stuff around your house i painted a wooden the wooden ladder from target that shelf i painted some wood blocks so i can use them as risers for my redone display um that bench so i just i'm painting everything that i can see every everything that i see i'm like oh can i repaint that um i i'm not even joking so if you're looking for good i got mine in antique white i want to say but yes this stuff is amazing love it so much Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you is a podcast. Um, if you're anything like me, you're a true crime junkie. I love true crime. That's basically all I listen to now. I love, like, some podcasts that I love are um, True Crime Junkie or Crime Junkie. Crime Junkie. Uh, Open Vanish was a good one. Um, I love Small Town Murder. It's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, there's like a bunch of, um, a bunch of podcasts. So this girl, she does my nails and we talk about true crime all the time. And she was like, oh yeah, I'm listening to my podcast. And I, I've actually had some nightmares before from them. And I'm like, well, what podcast are you listening to? She said, Sword and Scale. So if it's on Spotify and, um, the, it's just a storytelling, um, 
podcast I, i'm having a really hard time kind of describing what this podcast is so basically each podcast is a different murder homicide missing person something and guys i'm addicted i listen to like six episodes a day at work because each one is probably like around 50 to 60 minutes a lot of the stories have um like 911 calls they have some of the jerk like some of the court hearings and stuff it's actually really really cool i like how like straight to the point what happened um some inserts here and there i think it's an awesome podcast so i will list it below for you okay so i just got three more one more is also kind of entertainment and it is the show legger <laughs> I can't talk. It is called Lego Masters. I don't care too crap about Lego. I do not care. But this show is so freaking cool. It's just amazing how like these tiny little breaks can turn into something just extraordinary. It is so freaking cool. So if you're interested, I 100% recommend it's on Hulu. I think it comes out on Wednesdays. Um, yeah, you're not interested. Yeah, even if you're not interested, just check it out. It's it, like, just watch like 10 minutes of the first episode and you'll be hooked. Which reminds me that we still need to watch like probably two episodes. We've just been busy. But this show is so freaking cool. I 100% recommend and I cannot say enough cool things about it. It's so awesome. I, I really can't say much more than that. You just have to watch it and see for yourself. I 100% recommend. And the last two things are for my dogs. Because if you don't know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm obsessed with my puppies. So the first thing, I've kind of already shown it in a clean with me. Just briefly, I did not talk about it at all. Because um, I didn't know how much I was going to like it. And it is called the Chom Chom. Um, you may have seen it all over, I don't know, YouTube, Instagram, who knows. But it is basically a lint remover. But it is reusable. And... I don't know how it does it, but it does it. It's got a hop of hair in it because I, she's disgusting. But basically you just, I use this to roll my couch because the vacuum just wasn't doing it. I didn't see that it was really doing a good enough job. And I saw, um, Samantha, no, Stephanie, her name, SMLXO. I think her name's Stephanie. I don't know. I don't know if I'm drawing a blank, guys. I heard her talk about this in one of her Amazon, f like, favorites videos and because she has a bunch of dogs too and I was like I need to buy that and try it if not I can always return it no big deal this thing is a freaking lifesaver so if you have a dog cat anything that sheds in your house you know a wife I don't know you need this in your life because it just uh, makes <laughs> I thought that was a good joke it was just delayed it was just a delayed reaction <laughs> thank you um you need this in your life so much. This thing is so helpful. It is $25 on Amazon. So basically, you roll it, and then this thing pops open. It probably has a lot of dog hair in it. It does. Um, you just take it out, throw it away, and it's as good as new. Um, I love this thing. I can't say much more about it. It's just the best thing that I have ever discovered for dog hair removal. And the last and final thing is also for my dog, Hapa. Um, I will have a clip inserted here, and it is a slow water bowl feeder something like that so basically she's a freaking mess she will literally put her mouth in a water bowl and then just swing her head and just get water everywhere it annoys connor so i actually discovered this on tiktok and as soon as i saw this i was like i need to get this because this will literally like eliminate all the water on the floor and you guys it we have not had an issue with water being on the floor from our dogs since we've gotten this, and this was maybe a week ago. I love this thing so much. So basically, it's just a little water bowl. It has a lid on top with a little hole. So the dog has to press down or basically lick the water to get it out. It doesn't deprive them of water at all. It doesn't make it even harder for them to drink, but it eliminate or it limits the amount of water that comes up for them to splash around everywhere this thing is amazing so if you have big dogs or dogs that just tend to get water everywhere and you don't like that because it gets your floors dirty i 100 percent recommend this it was only like 16 dollars and one day ship so we got it the next day I actually opened it in the last like vlog or whatever video that i posted um i opened it up briefly i didn't even like show it to you guys but 100 percent recommend this thing this thing is a godsend. It's a lifesaver. I love this thing so, so, so much. 
Okay, guys, and that is going to be it for my February favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,